come for vice or virtue, because we only sell one here. If it's one that don't mind getting dirty, then I sure do. But how am I to know whether you're reliable, if not fully trustworthy? That you won't ever do. But I like your style, so I'm willing to take a risk. We'll consider it a trial run. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg the self-proclaimed forced king of monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that forced factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid fucker who's gonna get it for me. If you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to trek the sewers. Void if I know. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods. Only on offer to special clients. You cotton? Well, you do look like the honestly dishonest type, by which I mean my favorite customer. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch? part of the new line shift. Don't tell me you lost your key card already. 
A lost card's worth two infractions, you know. Depends on what you got. But I reckon we can work something out. You know, I think I did hear something about that. All right, okay. Initiating greetings protocol. know what that means. Not only no, but void no. I quit. And he can keep my final paycheck. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Fast, efficient, eager to please? Might be I should ask you for more favors. Guessing your services don't come cheap. Still, this ought to compensate for your troubles. And take an aromatic. You stink like Sisty Pig.
And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing some time. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody borstwurst. I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of borstwurst. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the sisty pig. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies, I disappear. A joke, that last was. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. I kind of liked it when his attention was elsewhere. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. By sublight, you mean Catherine, do you not? That greedy, star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head, and I will gift you a lifetime supply of Borst. You desire that I should lower myself to Catherine's level of crassness and filth? I cannot fathom how that would cotton myself. The king built this golden monopoly brick by brick from the rubble when the corpse abandoned Monarch. No, he ain't the sort to partner up, as that requires the sharing of power and profits. Think to blackmail me? Try it. The king will grind you to bone spurs and toenails. For true? You figure she will appreciate my skills? They did take me years to perfect. However, I remain unconvinced she could provide the means to make the association worth my while. If you ain't noticed, I'm doing swell, ruling this kingdom on my own. Ah, but Catherine would admire a man of my inclinations and skill. That is what you imply, yes? She will supply the worship I so rightly deserve. Very well. The king is interested. John Hancock me on the dotted line, friend. I will even <clears throat> give her a cut of the profits. Requiring she keeps clear of my short hairs. Do not push me. I am not one to suffer insults. Tell Catherine she is permitted to dump the bodies each and every Tuesday, precisely at 3 a.m. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards.
Oh, this ought to be good. What does he mean to offer in exchange for his no-account life? True enough, I got bodies piling up, drawing attention where they ought not to be. But if I take the factory, I don't need Clive to dispense of my messes. Can appoint someone to handle it myself. Point taken. Good help is hard to come by. Plus, Clive doesn't seem the type to upchuck his boards during dismemberment. Still, you're asking me to walk away from easy money. So we're a lot of things in life, and your point is? All right, color me convinced. Reckon I owe you a finder's fee. Don't spend it all in one place, unless it's here. 